Hello, boss. Two. Three. How's it going? Today, Alan and Louise coming down. Oh, good. Listen, I had a dream that I drove to Louisiana last night and got a Ford excursion. Yeah. Come look. And then I woke up and there was no Ford excursion there. Come I look. said that was a dream. Come look, Dad. Look, it's a Ford excursion. Yeah, Somebody stole it. Somebody stole Somebody stole Oh, that's just our truck down, our work truck. What? Let me see. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, let me slip my shoes on. Let, let me, me slip, let me slip my, my shoes on. Let's see what this is out here. Come on, boy. Let's see what this is out here. Man, I ain't got no business parking in my driveway. Somebody down there parked in my driveway. Let's go. What is that, an expedition? It's like, a uh, what is that? A, what is that, a GMC Yukon? It's a Ford Young folk with these big trucks. I need big wheels. What is this thing down here? Let me see who this is in this truck. Let me see what this is down here. What? What? Let's see, let's see, let's see. It said Ford Excursion Exit what XLT What is this thing in boy? I could never settle down too far away from my hometown with my family I am bound I stick by them till I'm in the ground Say your farms. It's all about God. Y'all look who's here. <laughs> Grandma. Grandma. Say what's up to everybody, Grandma. Hey there. Miss you all. They have not seen you in forever. It's been in forever, yes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, Grandma is actually uh, here to pick me up because I'm finna go on a journey. I gotta leave Megan for a couple days. Not a couple days, a couple hours. You gonna be alright for a couple hours without me? I will be just fine. <laughs> what the so, boys? To, yeah, y'all staying too, boys. I'll be fine with them, too. We were going to... Uh, so, so, should we tell them where we're going yes. to get right now? So, go no, ahead and tell them. Tell. No, okay, tell so, okay. we've been looking for a Ford Excursion. Four-wheel drive, 7.3-liter diesel engine. And uh, they are, they're rare. They call them unicorns. Yes, and yes. Uh, they, they got a bunch of them out there, you know, with high miles. And they just kind of all beat up, all jacked up, and all crazy looking stuff. We just wanted a nice, you know, workhorse truck, but also like a family vehicle. And we finally found one. And uh, I'm actually going to take a look at it and possibly buy it, purchase it today. And uh, we were looking for rental cars to drive now, because like, we got to drive about three hours there, three hours back, six hour round trip. We're actually looking for rental cars, <clears throat> but the, uh, you know, rental car companies didn't have any rental, car, rental cars to rent. And so that's where grandma came in at. <laughs> she was available. She's gonna take me down to Louisiana and drop me off, hopefully. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and hopefully buy us a Ford Excursion. Yes. You excited? We are super yeah. excited. Yeah. He finally found what he's been looking for a 
before excursion for years, years, years. Yeah, at least about five, Even six before, years. Before you know, we wrecked the, well, I wrecked the van and everything. Yeah. Went down with it. A deer hit you, as, as they say. It just jumped you, out. You didn't hit a deer. It, Jumped out on the side of the road, committed suicide, and just, you know. Exactly. Right. That's, that's a good story. A good life. I mean, story. <laughs> no, but anyway. So, he finally found one, and we're in position to get it. So, that's what we're going to do. Hopefully. We'll see. Like, that's we're right. on the way, you know. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it was we'll gonna be a, Yeah, it was going to be a family trip. But uh, now it's going to be a me and grandma trip. And uh, so y'all haven't seen Grandma in a while. And so y'all get to ride with Grandma for about six hours. And we're going to catch up on everything. And we're going to talk about what are we going to talk We need to make a list of what, all our conversations we're going to have <laughs> for that six hours. I'm probably going to do most of the talking. Because usually once I get going, it's hard for me to stop. And then my mama, she just get quiet and just listen. And at the end, she'll say like one sentence Go to respond. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're getting Grandma fed. She hadn't eaten today. So Megan gave her a... Uh, Ham and cheese sandwich with a like uh, made from scratch uh, bread roll or whatever. But uh, we're gonna get get some food in us, get everything loaded up. We gotta go by the bank to get a cashier's check so we can be in position to buy the excursion. You know, if everything if it checks all the boxes once we get there, and uh, we'll be headed to Louisiana. You excited, Grandma? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's excited. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah. yeah. Sitting on this new couch. Let me let me let me just show y'all this new couch. Cause I know y'all saw on the last video or one of them videos before this one that we got a couch delivered. It's not couches yet. We're supposed to have another couch, but it was the wrong color. And so uh yeah, we're gonna uh, pick it back up. Like I said, and I hope they get us our other couch delivered soon. But I'll pick y'all back up when we hit the road and uh we're heading to Louisiana to get us a full discussion. Can't wait. Alright y'all, we did it. This is our new vehicle. I'm gonna just walk y'all around it real quick and then uh once we get home, once we get stopped at the gas station or something like that, I'll talk to y'all a little bit more. Let me just turn y'all around real quick and just walk y'all around and let y'all see it. So this is our our new family vehicle, Vaughn Workhorse. And uh yeah, we're excited. Excited to get it on the road, give it a good test. And uh yeah. Me Megan hasn't seen it yet, the boys haven't seen it yet. So I'm excited to pull up <laughs> and let them see it. So uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna hold y'all too long right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get get on the road and get on back home, and I just see y'all then. Y'all, I'm making my first stop. Whew. Let's see, I got my keys on. I'm gonna lock myself out. <laughs> but uh, she's running good so far. Let me turn my lights off. That's what that beating is. 
Gotta get used to it. There we go. Whew. Felt like I was towering over everybody <laughs> on the road. But uh, she's, she's riding good so far. And I ride like a brand new one. And uh, only one light has come on so far. The ABS uh, light came on. Other than that, everything else is riding pretty smooth. Yeah, I was telling them only one light came on. The ABS light. Okay. I think there's something about brakes or something. Uh-huh. ABS. Yeah, yeah but it's probably. The brakes. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can feel that I need to be doing a little bit of a little bit of brake something on there. Uh -huh. He said he, he did tell me though that the uh, back brake pads need to be replaced. Okay. He said that they don't have nothing but a little bit left. Okay. But uh it, it's so it's so fast that you have to right. <laughs> watch it. Cause if folks hit uh, hit on their brakes in traffic, you, you just feel like you ain't got enough to like stop right. you real fast. And then I know what I remember about those excursions, sometimes it'll kind of Slutter when uh -huh. you're gonna have to hit brakes. Real yeah, fast. you can you can just feel that something ain't catching yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. But it's it's riding good. Like I said, it feels like a brand new car. I can't tell that I'm in a 30 year old <laughs> vehicle. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, he took care of it. Yeah. Like I said, I definitely didn't know it was gonna be this high <laughs> off the ground. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Like I said, well, you all stay. It needs to be that. Exactly. High. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. So let's walk around a little bit, see if we see anything. But I think everything's fine. Yeah, we're just stopping at the rest stop just to stretch our legs a little bit. Use the bathroom. Yep. All right, y'all, we're getting ready to get back on the road. We just stopped to use the bathroom, stretch our legs, and uh, everything is going good with the excursion so far. So we'll just continue on on this journey and see if we can make it home. <laughs> We got Tim pulling up in our new to us excursion. <laughs> so we are all about to see it for the first time. Yeah. All right. It looks good. Looks nice inside and outside, clean. Like do it like you can hit a deer and not totally that. Oh yeah, most definitely. I'm gonna get you one of them big old bumpers. Uh, I'm gonna get you one of them big old bumpers, you know, ranch hand bumpers put on the front. All right. Yeah. But yeah, it it, it, it rolled good. It didn't like those back roads too well. Mm -hmm. But on the interstate, it was just like you know whistling and just going. But on the back roads, it was you know <laughs> that that uh. <laughs> Suspension. Exactly <laughs> right, right. He actually said he didn't lift it. He said that all he did was put, he took the uh, excursion shocks off and put regular like F two fifty shocks on there. Oh, okay. And he says the excursion shocks were kind of like you know wimpy. And when once he put the the regular like truck shocks on there, it rose it up. Okay. And then he just put bigger tires on there. I got you. Yep, that's what made it look so big. Plus yeah. it's just a big like yeah, it's a big vehicle. It is <laughs> a big vehicle. Huge. Yeah. Like we got all type of stuff that we're gonna have to talk about tomorrow because uh, he got all type of like mods he didn't did, and uh, that's what I was looking for is somebody to put a whole lot of energy, you know, into the actual like under the hood stuff mm -hmm. that you can't see instead of just making it look. Even though it looks good, you know, on the outside, you know, he hadn't really did a whole lot to the to the outside, but he's done a whole lot under the hood and with the transmission and with the performance and turbos and all that type of stuff. So I think we're gonna pick y'all up in the morning because I'm tired, hungry, <laughs> for real. And I want to look the truck over myself, and I will just pick y'all up during the daylight, and I kind of walk y'all around and talk y'all through this purchase, talk y'all through all the details, and why we got the excursion, what we plan on doing with the excursion, you know, and uh, just all those, all that fun stuff. So we'll just see y'all in the morning.
All right, IG family. It's the next day. It's actually about three days later, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we uh, couldn't really walk y'all around the excursion fully. Our new family vehicle, the ultimate grocery grocery getter, <laughs> trailer hauler, baby hauler, bulk mail, bulk <laughs> like made out of actual metal, yeah. steel instead of being made out of plastic. Deer withstander. Oh yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> it's like we need something that was able to like hit a deer. And not just crumble to pieces. <laughs> Something that was able to hit a deer and like we'll still be safe in. So we want to take y'all and show y'all around our new vehicle. It's really an answer to prayers. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we want to wait till daylight because uh, this yeah, this is just too nice much of a day. of a miracle. And uh the last couple of days were kind of like dreary and rainy, mm -hmm. even though we love those days too. Like because yeah. those are the days when we can lay around in our pajamas yeah. and just Bunk enjoy family, <laughs> right? <laughs> Eat some good food. But we're just gonna turn y'all around, walk y'all through. The excursion and maybe y'all can y'all can help us come up with a name for it because yes, uh yes. this thing is a beast <laughs> for real so let's just turn y'all around walk through talk, talk through everything that we can think about because there's been a lot of modifications uh tuning and all type of stuff uh suspension that's been done yeah. and i'm gonna try to like remember everything i should have made like a list that i could just read off of so i can get everything down on video and tell y'all about the, all the uh, greatness stuff, huh? yeah for real but uh let's just turn y'all around and just start talking all right y'all here it is i knew to us really we can we can say new like because yeah, <laughs> because most of the time you know you say new and then you say new to us because it's used yeah, it but is. this thing is new <laughs> it's been completely redone uh -huh. things have been redone on it but uh it, it it's better than we anticipated oh yeah like literally you know it's not often you see something on you know advertisement or whatever and it's as good as it was advertised this one was actually better, better. <laughs> than advertised For real. If, if he would have took better pictures of it <laughs> and uh, if i would have saw it in person i probably would have paid more money for it yeah. <laughs> so ho hopefully he don't see this video <laughs> <laughs> nah but uh my guy he's a, he's a good dude that sold it to us and he wanted to know that it was going to a good good family in a right. good place and you know Tim had a strict budget. Oh yeah, that he was uh, sticking, sticking to. to so. But I, I, I would have spent the whole bank though if uh. <laughs> he, talk, he talks like that, but he's very like you know conscientious and budget. Yeah, like, very very different. He, he'll wait because we've waited a long time to be able to get an excursion, you know, and be able to pay cash for a vehicle. And then even when we uh, totaled the van, we weren't just rushing to get something. We right. made it, we took our time to see what we were actually like, what mm -hmm. we needed. And then these excursions, they don't come around a lot. In good a good condition, one, right, right. Four wheel drive mm. and it's- so, say, say that again. Four, Two wheel drive? Four, no. Four? Four wheel drive. <laughs> Two, four, 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 four wheel, wheel drive. drive. Finally, four wheel drive. I don't have to worry about getting stuck on top of the ground like I used to do in my old truck. And uh, that, that's one of the biggest parts. We ain't even made it to the excursion yet. We're just telling the testimonies. But uh, we wrote, we have a vision board. If you don't have a vision board, stop this video. Go to the store and get you one right now. <laughs> Every family needs a vision board. I always tell people that... Um, you know, the main part of, you know, why we got married was because so, so that we can be obedient. Mm -hmm. And it's like in order for Megan to submit to the vision that I had, like to submit to the mission that I was on, I first had to have a mission. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you can't have the submission without the mission. You just got sub. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I think it's a lot of like, uh, you know couples families out there that only have the sub you know what i'm saying but you need the mission you know so you can have that whole complete thing and it's not just you know how i, th I thought we were showing that scourge and i think feel like i'm about to start preaching but anyway <laughs> but in order to have that submission and not just between a man and a woman but between us and god you know it doesn't just go horizontal but it also goes vertical you know and so uh, that's the cross i guess you know what i'm saying but i love it but back to this excursion but what we we wrote, we wrote on our vision board probably five six years ago four wheel right. drive everything yeah, and this back here drive. this beast this truck. excursion is four wheel drive and, yeah. we had, and we had a two wheel drive truck and a two wheel drive truck as an animal tractor that's right the only yeah. thing we had at that time was a four-wheel drive van and it really wasn't four-wheel drive it was really like a traction <laughs> traction control button that it had where it spent one tire <laughs> to try to keep you from spinning off the road 
But anyway, yeah, four wheel drive. So we have a four wheel drive tractor now, and now we have a four wheel drive truck, four wheel drive family side, vehicle. Uh, side, side, side. That's right, side by side, four wheel drive as well. Tractor. I love it. So let's turn back around and look at this <laughs> excursion. Yeah. All right, let's get a let's get a look at this at this beast. So let's just first off, this is how we'll do it. We'll do out exterior walk around, then we'll do interior. Then we look up under the hood, and then we look up under the undercarriage, and then we'll kind of go from there. So first off, let me just give y'all a walk around the outside. This is a, a 7.3 liter diesel, four wheel drive, as we said, Ford Excursion. I think this thing has like a 44 gallon <laughs> diesel tank on it. And uh, as, you can, as you can see, it's a nice paint job. We got a little, couple little dings here and there, basically from what we've done since we've been driving it for a couple days. Just from rocks hitting it. Yeah, a little bit of mud from rocks hitting and things. But uh, we've been driving it for about four or five days and we're loving it so far. And I guess uh, one of the first things I can talk about, let me just get through with this exterior walk around. As you can see, it's basically all stock as far as the exterior until we get down to the suspension. So I'm gonna just bag up. It may look like one of the things that I didn't want, and Megan can come over here and uh, talk about this as well, because I didn't want a truck that my wife and kids couldn't get in. <laughs> I had to pick up my wife and pick up the kids to get into it. So I didn't want anything that was lifted up too high. But this excursion, you know, is lifted up just high enough to where with the running board, everybody can still get in pretty comfortably. Matter of fact, just come over and get into the driver's seat and let's see how smoothly my lady friend can get in. Man, lady, lady friend, yeah. Wife, lady friend, <laughs> baby mama. <laughs> life mate. Okay. All life the, what's mama. what's the number? Baby mama. <laughs> Mother of my kids, boy. <laughs> boy. Uh, All right. How'd that feel? Good, good. I'm not, have I gotten in the driver's seat before? I think you might have like the other day. Just to sit there. Okay. He hadn't driven it yet. Megan's gonna drive it for the first time yeah, tomorrow. I can't remember getting the driver's seat. I'm so used to having a little. Oh yeah, it doesn't have a little thing. thing. Yeah. But it's still just as easy to get mm -hmm. up. I tell you what, the the running board is lower than the your truck step. Up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, That's yeah, good. It's pretty easy to get in. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Can How's it feel? Can we, oh, it feels big. Can <laughs> <laughs> you can you. You gonna have to let the seat up and stuff when you drive. Uh, mm -hmm. Feels like I'm driving a bus. That's right. And that that, that 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 brings me to the next thing. I'll let you get in a minute, though. That brings me to the next thing is safety. Because I'm gonna show you something. On this. You hear that? That's metal. And if you look up under here, you see that that steel there? All that right there? That's the frame. Like that's all metal, you know? And uh, we wanted something safe. Like th these things here are like super, super, super duper safe. And uh, if you get into an accident, you don't have to worry about like totaling the vehicle out every time you bump into something. And then you can get into a major accident and you're, you're protected. Like these things like protect you more than any other like vehicle out there because they're solid. It's steel, you know, this is actually a 2002 uh, year model. Like I said, it looks so clean. It looks brand new, but that's another thing we wanted safety. We wanted that, uh, you know, the pulling power. I guess we can talk about that once we get up under the hood because that's a 7.3. It actually has the same motor in it that my uh, truck has over there. But uh, it's been modified and I'll show y'all that those things as well. But I guess we can start off, start showing the inside, the interior. Alrighty. Help mama get out. That look pretty smooth. Yeah, it wasn't mm -hmm. hard to get out. We'll close though. the door there because it keeps that beeping going. But open up the doors, mama, and just okay. kind of walk us around the inside. Okay, so we have we have a, the front row, of course, then two additional rows. And the thing, I'm just going to crawl in so I can show you around inside. Go on the other side, Tim, and open the doors. Open all the doors, Tim, and swing them open. So, uh, the thing about this that I like, this is the second row, mm -hmm. but as you can see... Don't fall out the door with him over this. I'm going to sit back. I'm sitting I got you. I just want to show them, as you can see, mm -hmm. this seat is a full-size seat. Oh, yeah. And there's actually three full-size seats on the second row. Back here. And then, the same for this third row. Mm -hmm. 
three full size six the boys all fit comfortably mm -hmm. um I'm gonna shut that. Okay, you shut this. <laughs> well, leave this one closed, Tim, because it makes that beeping sound. And we have the third row. It's also very roomy as well. Mm -hmm. Three full size seats back there. Got a car seat here. Plenty of room in this middle seat, and then another seat. So even though it's a, uh, you know, got three rows it's not like they're not shorting you on any of the rows they're pretty full and that was a big you thing know? for mm -hmm. us because we were looking at the honda pilots but it's like they had a third row and there's a bunch of other things that had third rows as well but we call it a fake third row <laughs> it's not a third row that's actually yeah. useful like for comfort and just space you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you know with the vans it's only seven passengers they don't have this uh you know a third mm -hmm. seat up here yeah. and it's and it's kind of you know a short row in the back a smaller row in the back so you know it's a lot of room it's extremely roomy and even with all three rows there's a lot of trunk space too so because they transition us you yeah. will definitely see how spacious it is on the inside that's right so you can go out that way and i'll meet you around and we'll show them the trunk space okay since we're showing the inside but it's just so much to show y'all like i said we'll try to get to as much as we can in this video but we y'all will be seeing it in other videos to come as well it should be unlocked let's see it's just heavy or like it might not there you go yeah it's stout everything on this thing is stout <laughs> But it has these uh, like barn door style trunk doors. So you have plenty of space to get in there and do what you need to do. We actually just left the post office. So we all got packages back there. But you can see we got plenty of room back here. and got the spare tire. I got my big heavy duty jack. You know, just in case we need to change a, uh, put a spare on. Got my uh, toolbox back here. And you still have a bunch of room for groceries or what else would we be putting back here? The dogs, if we're going a long trip somewhere. Which will be coming soon. We got, we got some trips planned. Yeah, for real. Yeah. 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 Right. IAG on the road. There you go. <laughs> Packages, dogs. We'll figure something else out to haul. Groceries. Hopefully we won't, we won't be hauling anything like cows and pigs. Oh, that's a good idea. You can fit some pigs. Because look, it, it has this uh, this little weather tech mat down here. That kind of uh, holds everything uh, in. You can, fit, you can fit a dog crate back there. And put spoke, some pigs in there. Too, some put some pigs. sheep in there. The baby cow. <laughs> yeah, that uh, cow be gross. Mm. I, I thought when we got a car like a 7.3 that was capable of pulling like a cattle hauler or something. They would like put that. the animals in the but cattle we hauler. We were done with carrying the animals in the same vehicle we were riding. But you know how it is though, going on a long trip. It's like you would rather go on that long trip without a trailer. <laughs> so just put them in the. Uh, or you would rather go on that long trip without the cow being in the back seat. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so and, and this is perfect size also for uh, feed, you know, because that's about the amount of feed yeah, we get. Feed. So we can do feed run, you know, and all those good things in here. So I just the feed in the back. Mhm. Mm that's yeah. right. That's right. You can close on up. Show them how it closes. You got to slam that. It's, it's it's still loose. It's, it's not supposed to be shaking like that. Okay. Let's shake it a little bit. See if it's still. Nope. Yep. There you go. You got this. Yeah, there you go. You don't have to slam them too, super hard, but just a little bit of, uh, you know. All right. So let's see. What's next? Let me show y'all underneath this thing. Because, okay, I was talking about the lift, the uh, suspension. Let me close the doors. It actually doesn't have a lift on it, if you can believe that. Because you see it's kind of, you know, sitting up high, but it's. Oh yeah, <laughs> you look tiny like next to that thing. Uh huh. But what they did is, instead of uh, he took the stock uh, suspension off of here. As you see, it doesn't have these uh coils here. And maybe I can put it in a like little video clip of my truck. How it usually has the coils there. They took those off and added leaf springs. <laughs> Let me just get on the ground. Yeah. And show y'all. So as y'all see. The front of this thing has leaf springs on it. <laughs> I've never seen that. And uh, because it, the leaf springs, what happened is when they put the leaf springs on there, it jacked the truck up. And uh, he actually didn't put uh, expedition uh, excursion leaf springs on here. He put uh, F-250 leaf springs on because he said that these are more rigid 
and that's what gave it that lift because he said that he wasn't even trying to uh to lift it up but uh they put those on there and they're just you know a whole lot better quality than the ones that on here at first and so they kind of bulked it up and lifted it up and he also they raised the cab off and i'll show y'all some video of that but uh, they raised the whole cab off the truck and they repainted the whole like frame and everything and they, they, they he didn't do it because it was like rusting and anything like that he just wanted like it might have had a little surface rust but uh <clears throat> you know he just he just redid everything they pulled the whole cab off of it and when they pulled the cab off of it they replaced like starters like they did some some work on the engine like uh gaskets and seals and all that type of stuff even though it wasn't leaking and they just did all type of stuff like i said I, I, I put a little video clip in here of when they raised up the cab and sprayed you know the whole frame and everything and did all those things and let's see i'm gonna pop the hood here megan let me mm -hmm. take it from hood. here mm -hmm. this is another reason why i love these old trucks because uh these new model trucks when they get stuck you know or when they you get ready to pull somebody out you have nowhere to hook to it's just like the new model cars but these old four trucks they have these like uh these things here where you can put a chain around them and that's the frame, like, you know what I'm saying? So I just love that. <clears throat> so I started talking to y'all about some of the upgrades that I own here. So we have an upgraded alternator. It's, it's, it's a high performance alternator. We have uh, updated uh, battery cables here because he said it was kind of starting kind of slow, you know, just like every, any 7.3 does, any old diesel truck does. So he upgraded the battery cables. So now it starts like a brand new, like these newer model diesels. Updated air filters so that you don't have to actually replace, replace the filter. You can just take this out, blow it out, spray it off and things. Uh, what else do we have? You know, re brand new coolant, all those type things transmission they went through the transmission and said everything is good all the fluids look nice and clean and everything and uh i'm gonna come show y'all this in the inside because one of the problems with the 73 is that it's slow as dirt <laughs> you know and uh so that he put a tuner on here and i'm gonna show you what it does <clears throat> i'm gonna crank it up and this little switch here you switch it there and that'll be stock. You switch it there and that gives it a, a idle boost. And then this doubles the horsepower, triples the horsepower, quadruples the horsepower. I think that's it, <laughs> you know? So uh, I hadn't ran it in quadruple the horsepower yet. He said the only time, and I know that little beeping is annoying, but uh, he said the only time you would need to quadruple the horsepower is if you're trying to show out <laughs> and race somebody or something. And I said, no, nah, I might not ever. I shouldn't ever be racing anybody or trying to show out. <laughs> but you never know. Grandkids come over oh, or something like that on down the line. I'll be an old man out here. Y'all couldn't watch this. <laughs> but uh, let me show y'all. Let me crank it up. They got rid of that beeping. Mm -hmm. mm, new beeping. Mm -hmm. Another thing right before I crank it up. If you can come down here low. On the rear because it raised it up so high in, in, in the back i mean in the front with those uh leaf springs on the front he had to put uh airbags he put extra air shocks on on, on the uh, back so that you can raise it up or lower it you know so you just uh the the, the black is one side and then the orange is the other side and so you just equal those up with each other and then it raises or lowers the back as well so that's another upgrade. And then it has the, uh, you know, normal, just uh, trailer brakes. You know, when you have a trailer hooked up, you can let the trailer brake itself as well. Let me go and crank it up and show y'all the boost and let y'all hear it. Crank so smooth, curls like a kitten. And it's on the stock mode now. So I'm gonna see if y'all can hear it on the video. I'm about to boost it on the first boost. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but you hear it, it's, it's at a high idle now. Now I'm gonna go to the next level, which is the level that you, you, you ride like on the interstate, when you wanna be able to get in and out of traffic a little bit better. And so, that's double horsepower. So it's just making it be able to go faster. And then, you probably can't, can't really hear when I do these other horsepower options, but, 
in the stock mode is really where you tow and uh just do like your, your basic you know like heavy duty stuff but when you don't have a trailer behind you and you're just trying to get get to the groceries or get to the post office or get to the doctor's appointment like we just left from you'll put it you know in double the horsepower and you have a little bit more pep to your step instead of it taking off real slow like a normal seven three would do and so uh yeah so we got a tuner on here we got the extra air shocks on the back everything is stock as far as let's see if i can get that to go off All right, so uh, everything is just stocked with the radio, and uh, we'll probably end up putting like a Bluetooth in uh, with a backup camera, and uh, what else did we want? The, the boy said something about a DVD player, so we yeah, might see if we DVD can. DVD player. Yeah, we might see if we can find like a DVD yeah, player. Yeah, that can play movies. That's right, they can play movies and everything while we're waiting at the doctor's, doctor's appointments and things like that. But uh, other than that, like I said, I think everything else is done in the inside. I'm gonna let y'all see the interior, because usually you know like the driver's seat interior. And the inside is like all torn up. You can see that that's all, you know, still looking good. I actually think he recovered some of this stuff as well. Everything works. Cru cruise control works. All the lights work. All the windows work. Like I said, he's went through it to make it like a brand new vehicle. You know, and uh, it's just amazing. An amazing blessing and miracle. And uh, I think he also uh, came in and put some bigger tires on here. I think he upgraded from whatever the stock tires were to like, I don't know if these are 40s. I can't remember what he said. Like I said, I'm not big on tire size and all those type of things. I don't really know anything about that type of stuff. But yeah, y'all, that's that's pretty much it. As far as I, I can't think of anything that I've I forgotten about to mention. I'm sure it is. <laughs> but, yeah, it's uh, a lot that goes, a lot yeah. we don't even know yet. Mm -hmm. We're still learning. I haven't even driven it yet. So that's right. I'm yeah. still, you know trying to ease my way into driving something this big so yeah definitely we love it so far we're very pleased with it you know we've driven it um what two or three times together as a family yeah we 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 we, we put myself i put about uh 400 miles on it just yeah, getting it from louisiana mm -hmm. we picked it up from louisiana and then brought it back you know to mississippi yeah. And so uh, we're only at a half a tank so far. <laughs> We've already put yeah, like 400 miles on it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can you can you can get almost you know seven eight hundred miles off one you know full tank of gas right, on here. Yeah. So we're excited to actually fill it up <laughs> for real. But, yeah. Because well, it, it'll probably be about three hundred dollars to fill it up, but you real. you go longer. You, you do. Know? Diesel mm -hmm. is expensive, but it's uh, the fuel economy is yeah. a little bit different. So. That's right. Yep, so we definitely love it so far. We're pleased so far with it. You know, it's kind of an answer to our prayers, our hopes, our dreams. And, mm -hmm. you know, we can fit as many kids as we want to. That's right. We can fit eight people, you know. <laughs> Listen, I'll give out carrying kids before they discourage Yeah, <laughs> for real. Yeah, yeah. Boys, y'all come on over here and tell us what y'all's favorite part or show us what y'all's favorite part of the excursion is. My favorite part is when... You have to. You got. You got this little ding. Mm -hmm. And you push it down. Yeah. Give, give you plenty of room to get in, huh? Mm -hmm. Y'all get in, boys, and show them how y'all get in and where y'all seats are and everything. Uh, what? Yeah. And it actually has this thing, like where you can put groceries on. Yeah, show them. Yeah, you can lay it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can stow and go all the seats. They all lay down to where it can be like a truck bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Yeah, put put mm -hmm. that back up. Hold on one sec. Hold on one second, Tim. Go on, get in, Tim, and kind of show them what it looks like back there, what y'all been back there. Mm -hmm. You can pull the seat back up now, how you do it. Yes, sir. And then you pull the seat back up. It looks like that's not perfectly back here. Mm hmm. And I'd be around like this. Right? So is it comfortable back there? Yes, sir. Yeah. Tim Junior is the one responsible for getting everybody out. There you go. Slide it forward. So everybody hop on out. So is it hard getting in and out of it, Titus, with what? it being so tall? No, it's easy. Mm-hmm. Easy. Good. My favorite part about the truck is 
that. The driver's seat? <laughs> oh, let's open it up and see what he got to say. My favorite part is it did thing. The lights? <laughs> you talking about the tuner? That makes it go faster? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that right there. But don't ever touch it. <laughs> All right. What, what about you? Let's get this closed up. What about you, Tyus? My favorite part is that We'll be able to have more seats in the foreign garden. Like, people can sit back there, and up here we can fit eight people in here. That's right. We can go pick up Grandma, pick up Carter. And pick Carter's pick up, mama. And Angeline, Carter's mama. We can have fun. A good trip, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See y'all excited to take a trip in the excursion? Yeah. Take a good vacation. We have some trips planned. Like what? What type, trip? Trip what type of trips do we have planned? Yeah, for real. Like, going to Colorado. Colorado. Or the, the or the mountains. The mountains. That's what's mm -hmm. up. Get yeah, a tent. Yeah. We're going to have to buy a tent first. That's right. That's right. Get yeah. in. Get in. Solo. Y'all ready to ride in this excursion? <laughs> we, got a, we got a whole back seat yeah. for y'all. Back little trunk area. Solo, you're going to have to do better now. You can't uh, use the bathroom in the in the car. If you, if you get panicked. It's enough room to fit their, their kennel back there. Yeah, listen, don't, ain't, don't nobody want to hear about that kennel. <laughs> they already yeah. said the kennel's too small. It's not Even, too even small. though it's like super big it's for these type dogs. Small. And they would panic if we gave them too big of a kennel. It's not too small. <laughs> we can fit them, fit it back there. That's right. All right, y'all. I think we walked around and showed y'all enough. We, we'll save some of this excursion for the next video. But uh, we did it. We bought a full excursion. excursion. Yeah, and uh, we're excited about it. Like I said, we tested it out and everything, and we drove in it, put about 400 miles on it, and uh, it, it loves the interstate. It's stout now, like because of those uh, uh, leaf springs instead of having like a uh, uh, tension springs or shocks, or whatever you call them. So when you hit a bump, you feel it, <laughs> you know, because it's stout. You know, like a truck, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they had those uh, lighter shocks and things on there before so that it'd be a smoother ride, you know. But now when you hit a bump, you really feel it. But when you get on the interstate and you have that tuner, that, that boost, horsepower boost on, you just hear it just whistling and just going down the interstate. You're able to bob and weave in traffic and get to where you need to be. But all right, y'all, I think we're going to end today's video here, and we'll just see y'all on the next one. It's IAG Fun! See y'all on the next one, and we have a new Ford Excursion. Piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me. Little by little, piece by piece, until I'm complete.